Hey guys, welcome back to another video collab with myself, Ants England, and my daughter, the Ant Princess. Something absolutely amazing happened, didn't it? Something so, so, so cool, awesome, amazing, and very kind and generous. So a very super, super nice person. The Ant Lady. Thanks so much, Ant Lady. Very kind of you. Yeah, super awesome. The Ant Lady offered us these amazing colonies. If you watched our last video together, you probably heard us say that my mum never ever keeps tiny ants. She's scared of tiny ants getting out or not being able to see the cute little ants. But yeah, and you've never kept big ants. But now, thanks to the Ant Lady, I have my first small ants. And I'm my first big species. Which one shall we show first? The tiny ones. Let's put the name on the screen because I don't think either of us can say the name. I think you're right. <laughs> These Tetramorium are tiny reddish brown in colour with darker butts. For temps, I'm going to be keeping them at around 25-ish and aiming for a humidity of around 60%. These ants can inbreed so it'll be super interesting to see how many queens we end up with over time. Their diet that we will be giving them will be insects for protein and sugar liquids and fruits for sugars and obviously a constant supply of water. For housing we're going to find it tricky to feed them in this tube so we're going to do them a tubs and tube set up. Kate is going to get it all ready for me. Kate? Okay first we need a clean tub, nothing fancy. We got this one for around £4. I'm going to put some sand to cover the bottom. Not too much, maybe half a centimetre. This will look nicer and stop the test tube from rolling around. Then I'm going to add some decorations like stones, sticks, just to make it prettier and more interesting for the ants. And now for the barrier. This is the bit that worries me. It'll be totally fine. I hope so. We're going to be using a talc paste barrier made by mixing talcum powder and rubbing alcohol into a paste and then applying it to the top of the outworld. We've got a bit overboard. We've done about seven centimetres because mum was worried they would get out. You've got to be careful. And now to add one of the ant lady's food bowls. We are going to put in some cockroaches and some sugar liquid. We are using the ant lady's cotton candy one that's pink. We are going to put it on the cotton wall to make it safer for the ants and avoid them drowning. Now to add the ants. I'm just going to gently place the test tube in and leave them to explore their new home. Thank you, Kate. You've done an amazing job. You're welcome. And thank you once again to the ant lady for this amazing colony. Oh, God, they're already testing the barrier. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Look, look. Plop. OK, I'll trust you. Now, let's check out your new colony from the ant lady. Wow, these are huge. She's so big. It's funny that my workers are bigger than your queens. Oh, wow, I love them. These are stunning campos. I think it's pronounced Campanotus Slovaticus, Slovaticus, something like that. Campanotus Slovakius, Slovaticus. <laughs> if you could hear the edits that we do on this video, it would be hilarious. We should do an outtake video one day. These are stunning campos. I think it's pronounced Campanotus Slovaticus. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the queen is huge. She is. Queens are 15 to 17 millimetres. Workers and majors are very polymorphic and can be between 5 millimetres to majors being as big as the queen. Whoa, that's crazy. How big can the colony get? I think they can get to around 300 workers. But your 300 workers might take up more room than a thousand of my tetramorium. After doing some research, I'm going to be keeping these ants at a temperature of 24 and 50 to 60 percent humidity. That sounds about right. If anyone has kept either of these species featured in this video, please feel free to drop a comment with any tips or advice. I can't wait until they get majors. These are so cool. I'm not going to move these out of their test tube until they have a few more batches of workers. Once they have about 20 workers or too many workers that I can't feed them in the test tube anymore, I'll put the test tube in into a tub setup until I find the perfect nest. I think that's a great plan. I'm really looking forward to seeing you look after these ones and seeing them grow. 
Here's how I'll do it. I'll get a simple tub and sand and some decorations. Then add the test tube, simple as that. It looks great. We will have to do a follow up video on these colonies in a few months just to see how much they have changed. And I guess that about wraps up this video. Thank you to Katie the Ant Princess for joining me again. You're welcome and thanks for having me. And thank you to the Ant Lady for gifting us these beautiful colonies so we could make this video. Thank you Ant Lady, go check out her website everyone. You want to say goodbye? Yes, take care Ant Family and goodbye from me the Ant Princess. Thanks for watching, take care, stay Bye. safe. Bye! Bye.